What's going on guys, Big Time 110 here. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about Paranoid Android Port version five for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now this ROM is like a Pixel experience minus all those features, but it has great performance, great battery, and that's something that I could get behind on. So without further ado, let's get into the ROM guys. As you can see, right from the beginning, we have double tap to wake and the fingerprint works and it has its own animation. As you can see, this ROM comes with the Google Now feed on the left, which is something that I always like on a ROM. ROM is nice and fluid, and it comes with its own launcher, Paranoid Launcher. And it's a good one at that. If you move on to the display here, you can see that the 90 frames per second and the 90 hertz is working quite well. Now, as for the camera, tested the camera that comes built in and it works pretty good. It might not be the best quality, as you can see that no camera screen install has the best quality, but it'll do the job for what you needed. As you can see, it takes nice pictures, but we could tell that there's a lot of noise. Still, it's better than most, but it's better than nothing, so. I would suggest, like always, install the Gcam. A video seems to work too, so if you want to video record anything, it works well. Let's check it out. Bam, there you go. So moving on to system here, we have the gestures. We do have the system navigation. We get all the options. So just choose whatever you like. We also get the screen of gestures here. So customize to your liking. And we also do get the option to turn on the quick torch. Moving on to network and internet here. Here we can see that we do have voice over LTE working. Uh, we do have options for that LTE. And we also have Wi-Fi calling working. You know, I had no problems with callers telling me that they couldn't hear me or anything. So calls are working nice. If we move on to display here, we do have all these options. Uh, if we begin with styles and wallpaper, we could see that we have some options. Now keep in mind, this is a slim ROM. It never has uh, too many options. It only gives you a few options. And I think I'm, I'm good with the options that it, that it has. I don't need every option in the book. So moving on, we do have a dark theme. We do have DC dimming. If we go to colors, we do have these options, which is natural, boosted, and adaptive. If we go to post, here we got these two options. So choose whatever you like. And then we want to icon manager here. We could just remove whatever icons you guys don't want to see. We go to ambient display. These are your only options. And as far as security goes, we do have the face unlock along with your fingerprint. We have an app locker and the smart lock. So I'm glad to see that. But we go to battery here. Uh, battery is really, really good on this ROM. Uh, I, I really push it hard and as you can see, I'm usually getting about seven hours around that. And moving on to gaming here, if we move on to games that are installed on the phone, I had no issues whatsoever. As you can see from this footage here, this game was running really great. You could even go into the settings and max it out and still no problems.
Now let's move on to cloud gaming because that's something that I always do on my phone. This ROM, it's really good with cloud gaming. I had no issues with the Wi-Fi or the signal cutting in and out and just getting disconnected. So if you're into cloud gaming, this ROM is going to be great for you. change your clothes or swap the look of the vehicles bumper to bumper or you could do whatever else it is you do when you're not driving not really sure there must be other stuff too this place is huge i mean just look around or you can capture moments for the photo album and if the picture's a tough one to take don't worry you can go back and forth on a timeline to find that one perfect moment. Last time I had an issue with a ROM where the USB wasn't working. So this time I decided to check it out myself and plug in a USB drive. And as you can see, it's reading it, it's working. I was able to copy files back and forth. Now guys, would I recommend this ROM to you guys? Hell yeah, I would. This ROM is one of those ROMs that feel real nice and premium, like a complete ROM. No issues. There's no extra bloatware. You're not missing any important features. I mean, there's no overload of features, but that's okay. I would recommend this ROM to you guys, and I can't wait for the next update to come, which is going to be Ruby. So guys, with all that being said, thank you so much for the likes. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you so much for everything, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.